In this video, we take a look at how to create a costume Christmas card like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hey everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. So a link to download the resources that I'll be using in this video will be linked right in the description as well as the music that i'll be using if you want to get free music for your youtube videos check out a link in the description for free now let's get into photoshop and let's get started so i'll be using photoshop cs6 and this should work for even the latest versions of photoshop so the first thing that we do is we're going to create a new document so file and then new and then i can set my measuring scale to inches and i can set this to 8 by 8 over here let me change the resolution to 300 and i can go ahead and click ok so this is the document size that we are using we want to use this for purposely instagram so we are creating this purposely for instagram if it is any other form of document you can just basically set a new document for it so the first thing we do from here is to set up the background and to do that when you go to the resources we have a couple of backgrounds christmas backgrounds that i got so we're going to blend some of them together and use it for this project so the first one is this first christmas background here i'll drag and drop it this is already made up background so you don't really have to do a lot of work on this one so i'm just going to get rid of the merry christmas here to the other side of the document so i'm just going to open it up like this and i can drag it over here let me just zoom out and open it some more and i can i just want to get the merry christmas in there out of focus so something like this and then we can just get only this part you can as well use the approach of cutting it or cropping it out first so let's right click on this one go to rasterize layer and we can go to filter blur and then gaussian blur here we don't want this to be very very solid like that so something like this and we can go ahead and click ok now afterwards let's go back to our resource and we have one other background over there so we are just blending these two together and i got a couple of them for you you can use them as well so we want to place this on top of the first background but you realize that all of them are backgrounds okay so we want to just blend them so what we do is we right click and rasterize the layer go to the layer mask here and we can mask it out now you make sure your foreground color is black and then you can go ahead and just clear this off so you are kind of deleting the part of the wooden board here like that so that the other background will get to show so something like that and we blend it very nicely now when you are done you realize that this is the mask this is the actual layer so you click on the actual layer and then you can add a bit of hue and saturation to it so you press ctrl u and the hue and saturation pops up you can increase the saturation a bit like that and then you can go ahead and click ok now still on the background we have a couple of things to add so i've got this winter background from free pick so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop like that i want to place it underneath of the whole document here so i'll double click on that and i can drag it over here very simple now the next thing that i have is this element i also got it from free pick so you can drag this as well and then you can place it over here now it is already made up so i just want to place it somewhere around here and then we are good to go so that will be it for the background the rest of the things is going to be the image the shapes and then the test and then we are done this video is going to be very very simple so let's quickly go ahead and group this one and call it the background so you press ctrl g to group it and then you can call this one the background the next set of thing is we're going to add our image so i'll go ahead and pick my ellipse tool here i'm going to hold shift and i'm going to create a very nice circle something quite simple like that i'll press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered like this i'll come over here i'll double click on the layer thumbnail and then it is going to give me this option so i'm going to pick any color from this side let's go for something from here 
something like that okay let's choose the green dark green and we go ahead and click ok now let's make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j press ctrl t to transform it and we can scale it up a little bit like that go back to the layer thumbnail double click on it and you can click or select a new color from here and you can click ok now let's go into our resource we have the picture of the pastor and the wife over here so this is kind of a pastor which in the church you drag and drop it inside of photoshop you double click on it you right click and then you can create a clipping mask so that it just fits straight into the layer or the circle that you created so you can right click on this one and then you use ctrl plus shift plus l to adjust the levels of this one this image the image you can adjust that level so it basically means that you want to add some bit of levels and adjustments to this one so let me select all of these ones so you select the first one you hold shift and then you can select the last one that you want and then let's push this one up here a little bit now underneath of this one we want to create something that will make this look like it is not just hanging out okay so underneath of the whole of these ellipses that we've created we just want to come on top of the background and we want to go and choose our ellipse tool again and create a very simple ellipse like this or a circle but this time not a perfect one so we create it over here make sure your color is black press ctrl a to center it like that and then you can right click and rasterize the layer now go to filter blur and then gaussian blur over here and then you can blur this out a little bit like that so that is how you create that sort of shadow on it so the more the blur part the more it fades out so something like that and then if you are okay with it you can press ctrl t to adjust the transformation so something like this and let's close it up a little bit like that and once that is done it means that we can go ahead select this one hold shift and select this group it and we can call this either the mean or the image so something like that and the next of the things that we're going to add will be mainly the test and then one other thing and we are done with the video so for the test the first one that i want to use is called or the first font that i want to use is called railway i'll leave links in the description if you want to download that so for railway i'm going to pick the medium italic over here i have some tests already written up so i'll just go and select that copy it and i'll come into photoshop and i'll paste it so i want to select all of it make sure that it is left aligned because i want to make sure that i see exactly where i'll cut it off and then i want to increase the font a little bit like this and i want to change the color to this particular color that we used over here so i'll click ok and i want to cut this very portion so something like that and i want to cut it like this okay so the test is very mini as compared to the actual one that i did so i want to select all of it back again and i can this time around center the test from there we can press ctrl a and then make sure that this is centered as well and then we can select the test all back go to the toggle character over here and then we can open it up a little bit so we open the leading a little bit like that so that it, there will be enough space for it and then we can press ctrl t and try to transform it all over again now let's select all of this again and go to semi bold italic so that it can be quite very bold like that and i think we are good here now we go ahead and then we add the merry christmas in bold in and in general as well so let's pick the test tool again and let me type over here merry so something like that and i want to select the test and i want to change it to a font called regency script so something quite merry and let's increase the font over here and let's place it somewhere around here now let's make a duplicate ctrl j and bring this one to this side let's select all of it and change the font to great vibes so all the links will be in the description and let's change this one to christmas so christmas over here select it all go to the color palette and then you can change the color to anywhere something quite reddish like this 
and from there we can press ctrl t and transform it to make it a little bigger because that is actually the center of attraction merry christmas here now let's select the merry once again and try to position it over here and you can take your time to add a couple of effects to this but i wanted to keep it very minimal and very simple like this so the last thing that i add is this christmas gift box over here i got a couple of them for you as well you can just use it in your practice and send it to me on ig now i drag this one inside of photoshop like that and i want to place it at the very extreme end over here like that and that is it a very simple costume christmas card for your pasta or for yourself you want if you want to wish your group members if you want to wish your church members if you want to wish anyone you can use this i'll leave a template in the description if you want to download this for free as well thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i hope this christmas brings you hope peace love and joy i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye